Oh, that's beautiful. That's an actual tarantula. Holy. I was trying to make my way out to a place called the Hauser Geode Beds, which are in the middle of nowhere, California. I had enough gas to get there, but not enough to get back. But instead, I actually stumbled across possibly an even cooler place. So when I first got outside my car, I started seeing tiny little things like this. Right here. These are tiny little chunks of agates, but then I discovered that uh, there's lots bigger ones around here and a lot brighter ones. I had a lot of wind noise in the background of these clips, so I had to do something a little different for this one. I went through and showed only the best pieces that I found for the day, sorted from smallest to largest. And I'll jump in to talk about the location and the tarantulas. That's an actual tarantula. Holy mac. That's just incredible. Oh my God. That's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. You can hear the stones move when it walks. This next find right here really surprised me. I was still about seven miles away from the Hauser geode beds. But even then, I was still able to locate about three or four of these big chunks of thunder eggs that are normally found in the beds themselves. I was also able to track down a few isolated pockets of this material, which didn't really seem like the rest of the agates in the area. It was some of my favorite material that I'd found all day and had these cool contrasting red and white bands in the quartz. Now it was time for lunch, and I recently discovered that I apparently like tofu, and it's way less of a mess to clean up than chicken, which is perfect for camping. How many of those big sketchy spiders live in this hole right here? After about three more miles of hiking, I luckily didn't find any more tarantulas. Now here's all the big ones that I found out there.
And to check this one out, this is the prettiest one I found, I think. Look how intricate that is. And yeah, I did move it into the sun for a cool sunset backdrop. And I know these last few really big ones might not look like much on the outside at first, but I think there's something really special inside if you were to cut them open. So here's me trying to explain where to go in this place while not knowing that the wind is blowing directly into the microphone. But truthfully, you can find beautiful material pretty much anywhere in this place, and it's all on public land. This is seriously though, one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. If you're looking to come check out this spot for yourself, unfortunately you're probably going to realize that it's not really near any major cities in California. The exact spot that I was in is right on this blue marker here, which is right near Mesa Verde, California. This spot is in a really remote location. It's bordered by mountains on three sides and the Chuckawalla Valley State Prison to its north. Set your GPS for the Wiley's Well rest stop and then start heading south in this dirt and gravel road. Continue left past the prison and keep heading south. The road isn't too bad, it's pretty much all sand and gravel the entire way and you could probably make it in a car, but I'm not liable if you get yourself stuck. The place you're looking for is the Coon Hollow Campground. You'll probably see a bunch of RVs and people with toy haulers parked out there. And head off onto this little road to the left, and pretty much this whole area contained all the stuff I showed you in the video. In order to get to these remote places and make these videos, I've been living in my old SUV. It's been an incredible experience, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see what I've got coming up next. If you like this video, or you're in the area, here's another nearby spot that you can check out.